watched a preview for uh, the train wreck movie and I forgot to tell y'all this in the uh, in the reaction video so <laughs> when I'm watching it LeBron James came in at a certain point and he was talking about catching up on Downton Abbey and most black folks don't know what Downton Abbey is so I'm gonna tell you what it is because there are two shows that women, my woman in particular at the time, got me watching that um, I normally would not have watched. Number one is Downton Abbey. I'm like, you know, when, when you're a couple, you spend a lot of time together. And she's like, all right, I want to check this out and everything. The one rule that we always had when we were together was we'll give it a half fucking hour. No matter what it was, a movie, whatever it was, if we were going to watch it together, from then on, both of us would have to like it. But if one was like, you know, kind of like, ah, like give it a half hour. Half hour in, I was hooked. I couldn't believe it. And it's about like uh, old, old, I don't know what year it is, but I think it's like World War One time. And uh, it's about a rich English family with the last name Crawley. Literally. They probably fucking own my ancestors. Um, but it's about them and their whole family life. And, and it's really fucking interesting. Really interesting. You know what I'm saying? And my favorite character has got to be Granny. She cracks me the fuck up. It's just the faces she makes. Trust me, y'all. I look. <laughs> I you know you know how people say don't knock it till you try it. Well, there's certain things I won't try no matter what. But um, TV shows are something I can you know check into and you know and it's the faces she makes and she says slick shit like old people do. You know she'll insult you but get away with it at the same time. She's like that. Um, and, but she, she's my favorite. I like a lot of the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, well, who's the who's the head butler dude? You know, be like, Mrs. Patmore. I forgot his name. Mrs. Patmore is funny, too. She's the head cook. Um, the daughter that died, she, I, she was my favorite. It was a damn shame. She, I was mad when she died. She had them full lips and that dark hair. She was nice. The oldest one... Uh, I can't remember her name is. I don't know why I'm like drawing a blank on it. But she, the oldest daughter, she um, reminds me literally, like physically, in a way she shaped. And I didn't figure this out until I started getting physical with this. But she reminds me a lot of a girlfriend that I had, and she was straight up and down. And I didn't realize that I liked curves. Until I started getting her neck, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, oh Lord, I could never, you know. But anyway, she's cool. I like her. She she seems to be the center of a lot of the show. The dad's cool. I like him. Um, the mom, I like her. The mom is so pleasant. Just everything that's just the way she talks. She just she's just so pleasant. She reminds me of this girl I know. She just like I can't not like the mom. But anyway, those are just few of the characters I like. And I am currently watching the series, all because of a woman. You know what I'm saying? Now, the next series that I like is because of the same woman. And that show is Scandal. I know y'all, I know this. Some, some of y'all hate it, some of y'all love it. And I'm specifically talking to black folks right now. And when it first came out, you know what I'm saying, nigga, ain't nothing about that fucking, you know what I'm saying, that, that fucking... Negro bedwit shit. You know what I'm saying? They glorifying that shit. She being the black, you know what I'm saying? The black fucking whore for the president. You know what I'm saying? And I understand both sides. I found myself like, well, you know, I ain't that, you know, I ain't that bad, you know. It's like shit, they really in love and shit, you know. But it is scandalous because, you know, it, you watch the whole series, you like, and I, and I, my, my fucking fault. 
You know, I said, all right, I'll give it a shot. Let's let's watch this one shit. This one show. I was like, I got to see the next one. Shit. I look, look, I'll tell you my favorite. I, I like I like how Olivia handles herself, but she's not exactly my favorite, okay? The praise is cool. I, I like him. But my two favorite. Yeah, my two favorite are Huck. Huck, and I specifically like Huck because being an actor and knowing who the guy is and seeing the roles that he's played, you know, he's the one, yo, the kill killer, B, yo, B, you know, that's him from Half Baked. He plays Disturbed so well. It's, it's incredible. He on there is just, just as an actor, be, just knowing what it takes to go from yo B to how Huck is, you know, Huck is so disturbed. It, he does a fantastic job. Okay. Um, I like the, the the thick chick that started out like working for her, but she was pregnant or whatever. Y'all know that they turned her into an agent. Huck pulled her tooth out. I'll bust her ass. Um, but my 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 second favorite or tied for favorite is Olivia's dad. That man runs everything. You ever see when he goes to fuck off? He'll just be like, I am your father. Power, put him where he is. And I am the power that runs the power behind him. You will sit down, you will drink your wine, and you will eat, and you will have a conversation with me because I am your blood. I am your family. I taught you to be better than them because they do not see you as their equal so you must work twice as hard as they do do you understand i'm like god damn this nigga is no joke what a command he is no joke you know what i'm saying the last thing i remember him in with two roles i remember seeing him in i remember seeing him in speed he was like the head cop when they took the tape. They took the, the, the footage and they wanted to loop it. And he was like, I, I run it, run it! And I did, I remember that part. That was made me and my brother laugh in speed when he said that. And then he was Miles, Miles Bennett Dyson, okay? Responsible for Skynet. Remember that in Terminator 2? Yeah, he sacrificed himself after he got shot the fuck up inside the dying systems and all that. Anyway, so that's where I remember him from. I am afraid of that character. If someone like him exists, I don't want to know about it. You get what I'm saying? But you wouldn't want somebody like that on your side. You know what I'm saying? So those are my favorite characters from the show. Um, yeah, so post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you watch the series that I'm talking about? Do you like the series that I'm talking about? Both of them, okay? Never thought I'd be watching them. But I do. All right. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.